Yeah, so can continue. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, thanks, Robert, for allowing me to be here. And hi, everyone. I'm uh, Tuan uh, from uh, Brave Beats. Uh, it's uh, my company. Uh, why I'm one of uh, three co-founders at this uh, company, also ca oh, some kind of startups. And so uh, today we will talk about uh, WooCommerce and especially uh, WooCommerce ecosystem and what's uh, around it. So I'll start with um, uh, who know about WooCommerce? Heard or use? Okay, you're all familiar. <laughs> Okay, I, I won't be uh, talk more uh, about what WooCommerce is about, but I will update you with uh, latest news uh, about WooCommerce firstly. So firstly, I would like to mention that uh, uh, the company Automatic, uh, someone maybe already know, someone not yet. So Automatic is the company behind WordPress uh, system. And so in uh, May, uh, last year, they officially acquired uh, WooZims.com. The team uh, which uh, developed uh, WooCommerce system, it was in the last year. And uh, so actually uh, WooCommerce is controlled or is belonging to Automatic, actually. So just to let you know about that. And so next is, um, uh, this is the official information. Uh, on both blogs, on uh, whozims.com blogs, also uh, this information is available, uh, and so it's officially. And so from that time until now, uh, the team whozims uh, they work it closely with the new workflow of automatic, and so now they are quite uh, uh, they are uh, work you know, quite closely. Uh, but before that, uh, uh, Automatic, they got the funding with uh, 160 million uh, dollars. So actually, they got this funding early in uh, May uh, last year. And after they uh, got funding, uh, they acquired Automatic. I just uh, misconcept with that. And so now uh, WooCommerce is belonging to uh, uh, automatic company and with uh, the progress I would like to share you with this one great website it's called it uh, buildwith.com uh, this website it's like uh, a big database they have a crawler uh, around the web and based on uh, e-commerce you can see that uh, the WooCommerce statistic you can see there is the tree graph red one blue one and green one which means that uh, red one is for websites is like uh, top 1 million it means that uh, website with low traffic blue one with some kind of average traffic and with green one is about top 10k traffics which means that WooCommerce is designed and for for small businesses for small business especially big business like enterprises they want to use WooCommerce instead of that they use like Magento system and other system for enterprises so it's clearly that WooCommerce is for small businesses very suitable uh, next one is about uh, Google Trends is the second things I would like to share with you let's check the real result uh, in this uh, graph okay I use it WooCommerce Shopify Magento OpenCart and PrestaShop uh, the blue one is WooCommerce and you can see uh, it's growth from 2011 <coughs> and from uh, that time until now it's still growing and after acquisitions of automatic companies it will I think uh, grow more rapidly. Uh, the yellow uh, line you see this is uh, Magento. Magento is quite popular in the past. You can see it started actually from 2007-8. But the speed uh, growth of WooCommerce is quite quick and it's uh, you know um, 
uh, it's com uh, competing with Shopify system. Uh, Shopify system, uh, is anyone know about Shopify? Okay, Shopify is, yeah, cool. Shopify is uh, like a software as a service uh, system which allows you to create online store but you pay subscription monthly. Uh, it's the big difference between WooCommerce. WooCommerce is standalone system uh, based on WordPress. You can install and use it forever for free. But Shopify is a commercial system like Magento, OpenCaro, other system. Um, so, um, and important information here is WooCommerce uh, reached 1 million active downloads. Uh, so you can see uh, on wordpress.org uh, this number is increasing this peak is the release of new version WooCommerce so from each new release you can see the average daily uh, download numbers is increasing and right now it's about one plus million it means that one plus million uh, online stores around the world quite impressive Okay, uh, and finally, uh, just uh, two more updates. Yes, two more updates uh, before uh, about ecosystem. So, uh, the last year was the first WooCommerce conference uh, organized in the uh, United States of America. It was about 250 people uh, gathered in uh, November last year. Uh, and uh, uh, networking and sharing sessions about WooCommerce. And the last information is about um, WooCommerce partnered with uh, uh, SlideKick. SlideKick is the service. It's like a tutorial service that uh, it's it was installed in the WooCommerce. And so with SlideKick uh, uh, Pro. Uh, the user shop owners can learn um, uh, WooCommerce much more easily. It's like WooCommerce walkthroughs. It means that it will guide you from step to step. And so it's a uh, great news because it's uh, all for us and users uh, to to know uh, WooCommerce better. Okay, for now uh, let's move on with uh, what is WooCommerce system. Um, from research, I see that it's content, it consists from following components like community, themes, providers, plugins, learning tutorials, services, and WooCommerce showcase. Uh, we uh, let's uh, have a talk with the community. Um, what do you think that uh, with uh, social media? like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, WooCommerce is available, is popular in which uh, social channel? Where the community is? On Facebook or on Twitter? Sorry. Any idea? Uh, I mean that uh, where uh, WooCommerce community is uh, engage with each other in which social channel slack slack one yeah slack may, maybe facebook twitter so uh, actually uh, i made a few research with that and found that uh, guys are quite active uh, in war camps uh, it's offline meetups uh, at the conferences uh, but with social media I found that there's interesting uh, information that about uh, Facebook groups people uh, maybe some of you know about advanced WordPress group uh, it's quite popular it's uh, most popular uh, WordPress group on the Facebook but in spite of that there is the uh, advanced WooCommerce group and so it's uh, also very very popular. Uh, it's uh, the administrator of the of that group is Brad Griffin, uh, American, and so he uh, co-founded this group, 
and also there is uh, other group like WooCommerce Help and Share. Uh, I mostly like uh, WooCommerce Help and Share because um, when you have uh, when you uh, just start with WooCommerce, you have a lot of questions, and uh, you can post questions here, uh, and people will uh, engage, will try to help you, and recommend uh, appropriate solutions. Maybe it's related to themes or plugins. So there are two main groups, Advanced WooCommerce. Uh, right now it's about more than 4K members and WooCommerce Help and Share. A quite great group with 3K three, three uh, members. Um, uh, moreover, uh, in Google communities, there is uh, there are on Google Plus communities too, and so you can see that uh, numbers. This article actually was written a few months ago, but now I think uh, its uh, members are more. So uh, Facebook is quite active, and so if you want to socialize and get a lot of information about WooCommerce, you can uh, feel free go to uh, Facebook groups, uh, and you can get a lot of value from that group. Um, and also, uh, next one is about uh, influencer. I would like to mention here. Uh, I call, we call it uh, 13 WooCommerce Ninjas. You should know about it. Uh, it's infographic, so you can easily. Oops, some buggy. So there is uh, are some guys popular like Mark Forrester, Magnus. Uh, they are both co-founders. Uh, the guy uh, Mike Jolly, this one, he actually uh, one of core developers of WooCommerce. Bryce Adams, they all have uh, are developers and supporter and are quite uh, active community members. Uh, and uh, next. Uh, I would like to uh, tell about uh, uh, WooConference uh, 2016. So we'll be in uh, United States. It's about in April, 6th and, and 8th April in Austin, Texas. So if you are interested in WooCommerce, it's good to uh, subscribe and get latest information about uh, WooCommerce conference. Uh, the, the first WooCommerce conference was a great success uh, with Woozim's team. Uh, there, if you are interested in uh, uh, recap in uh, important information from WooCommerce conference 2015, uh, there are two links uh, so which you can uh, find and, and get more details. Like from this link I found with uh, wptavern.com. Uh, by the way, uh, this link, uh, this um, how we can say uh, presentation, I will share with our Facebook group. So uh, by the end, I will post this link to our Facebook group. So all you can uh, get to know more details about uh, information here. Let's say in WP Tavern. Uh, He's a quite active WordPress journalist, I think, and uh, uh, have a lot of information. He recap it here. So it was about the community. Next is about the Zim story. Uh, I worked a lot with uh, WooCommerce Zims, and so uh, I think there. Uh, let's say with WooCommerce Zim, if you want to find appropriate. Uh, theme for WooCommerce. There are three kinds of category. You can f uh, move on to official WooZims.com website, uh, and in category Zims, you can find a lot of WooCommerce Zims. Uh, the main Zim there is a storefront, which is released free. You can download free and set up online store absolutely at no cost. Uh, the second category I would like to mention it's uh, three three-party develop providers. It's independent developers who have own domain, website, and uh, release and uh, build, design, and create uh, WooCommerce themes. 
And the third category I would like to mention is about marketplaces and directories. Uh, let's move on with three-party three providers. In that category, I found that there are three types of uh, WooCommerce Linux providers. Let's say uh, the first one is especially uh, for WooCommerce. It means that these guys uh, they uh, focus only on WooCommerce themes. Let's say Commerce Girls guys. Uh, they distribute uh, on uh, ZimForest.net in Beto. And so uh, by uh, looking at portfolio, you can find that all their themes are mostly related to WooCommerce. So you can find appropriate theme uh, for your business. The second one I noticed that uh, some uh, guys which uh, started the business from Joomla content management system they uh, they expanded to WordPress 2 and they also released some themes uh, for WooCommerce so it's uh, some kind of uh, between Joomla and WordPress uh, the third type is uh, e-commerce oriented guys let's say with template Mela you can see that um, they also distribute on Zim Forest again. As you can see, uh, they are oriented in e-commerce system. The same, uh, the same design. Let's say uh, Shine PrestaShop responsive theme and Shine OpenCut responsive theme. It means that uh, the design actually is the same, but they converted to different uh, content management system. And so, let's say if you want to find uh, e-commerce system, and uh, it's uh, let, let's say you you saw the beautiful design on open cart system, but you want uh, the same design for WooCommerce, uh, these guys probably have uh, for you. As you can see, let's say Fashion Feast, there are Presta Shop version, and there is WooCommerce Shops version. So. Uh, Actually, there is the plenty choice of uh, WooCommerce theme. Uh, let's move uh, with uh, third category, marketplaces and directories. Uh, officially, WordPress.org, uh, they have uh, themes uh, which uh, you can filter based on WooCommerce factor. And so there's a lot, 200, more than 200 themes uh, available for WooCommerce. And all these themes are free, but please take into account that uh, free theme is uh, they are free. It's cool, but uh, the support is limited, or in some way it's not uh, it's not good for long term. Let's say uh, developers just build uh, these uh, free themes for just proof that they have a good knowledge of uh, code quality, or they just want to in some way be featured on wordpress.org but if you are serious about uh, business I, I, I recommend you start with uh, premium themes um, and in spite of uh, wordpress category you can find on zimforest.net as I showed you before on creativemarket.com, module themes and template monster template monsters uh, all these uh, marketplace, let's say Mojo Zims, they have uh, WooCommerce compatible Zims, and so uh, you again you can choose any WooCommerce Zim that suit your needs. Right now there are plenty of choice uh, for <coughs> WooCommerce Zim. One interesting factor with uh, WooCommerce trends. Um, uh, I closely watch uh, on Invanto and especially Zimforest.net uh, and notice that they push, uh, they organize a lot of contests. At least there are two contests related to e-commerce and WooCommerce. The first one was uh, with uh, this prize. Uh, this was the contest for Zimforest <coughs> authors with building the best WooCommerce shop from Zim. They announced it uh, in uh, quite a long time ago. It was, uh, let's see, uh, it was, uh, I remember it was in, in summer. 
oh five months ago yeah five five months ago into summer and uh, after this uh, contest uh, a lot of authors uh, submitted uh, WooCommerce themes and so uh, they have a big collection of WooCommerce themes and the next one they decided to just open it a new contest about uh, two months ago with uh, also with uh, e-commerce uh, theme but the difference here is they want to focus on a single product like say gopro.com <coughs> or fitbit.com uh, it means that uh, they focus on uh, on e-commerce on the sites that sell only one type of product in this in this uh, example is gopro camera um, okay moving forward and uh, just a few notes that from the category search you can see that there are a lot of zims it's about more than 200 WooCommerce zim only on uh, zimforest.net uh, with uh, yes uh, with 200 uh, of WooCommerce zims and uh, next uh, is about extension story um, as you know for setting up the the shop you the theme is only the design part but the next part is about the functionality and especially with uh, let's say with payment gateway with shipping uh, with marketing and so there are two great places where you can find appropriate plugins WooCommerce the first one is about Code Canyon it's the child marketplace of, of Invanto it means that the same owner of uh, Zimforest and the second one you can find on whozims.com in category plugins the difference here is interesting the price on the official website is a little bit higher but uh, uh, I believe the quality a little bit uh, uh, it's, it's better than on Code Canyon on Code Canyon there are a lot of small teams and freelancers uh, from uh, around the world but uh, the code quality is uh, is well controlled on Wuzims.com. So let's say if you want to get a quality product, you can uh, move to Wuzims.com plugins directory first. And if there is the case that you cannot find uh, the plugins that you need, you can uh, let's say check Code Canyon. On Code Canyon, there are a lot of uh, WooCommerce plugins. Right now, it's about more than 500, yeah, more 100 plugins. Uh, extensions oops it's my mistake uh, and so and this is the official category of WooCommerce plugins so two two marketplace Wuzims or Code Canyon but uh, in spite of marketplaces you can find uh, WooCommerce plugins from two guys first is Skyverge uh, these guys are from UK and uh, plugins are quite good uh, you can find I, I think for any niches for any WooCommerce niches plugins the same story for uh, your inspirational themes.com uh, these guys have been on the market uh, a pretty long time these guys are, are good from my point of view that they always have the free edition it means that they, you can try free edition Make sure that uh, this uh, plugin works well, and uh, if uh, in premium versions there's the difference in the features. More features you want, uh, you choose premium edition. But if you uh, just satisfied with basic functionality of certain uh, plugin, you can stay with uh, free plugin. Uh, it, this is the the download down, download access. It's directly from WordPress.org. It means that all free editions are available in on uh, wordpress.org repository uh, it's uh, your inspiration uh, and a lot of small independent developers and teams around the world which they have uh, websites separate domain but uh, about the quality of the plugin need to consider and need to be careful better to move with trusted companies who have been on the market for a long time um, almost uh, 
Next is about learning and tutorials. It's also the part of ecosystem. Imagine WooCommerce. What's behind WooCommerce? It's themes, plugins, uh, WooZims also call it like extensions. And now we uh, move to learning and tutorials. Because for someone WooCommerce might be a complex system, but for all other people it might be easy. But these guys are exist. They are photo press uh, guys. They are from UK too. Uh, they have uh, been uh, writing WooCommerce tutorials uh, for a long time. Release it, uh, update versions, and so their their tutorials quite are quite good, uh, easy to understand, and uh, it's it's worth money. Uh, the second guy I would like to mention is about. Bob WP. He is the veteran in Woo, in WordPress community actually. And so he also have uh, the category about WooCommerce tutorials. You can find a lot of uh, useful tutorials from Bob, Bob Dan. Uh, quite popular guy in the WordPress community. Uh, another way you can learn WooCommerce is about Udemy. Uh, I think most people heard about Udemy. They also have a course uh, about WooCommerce, so you can actually uh, learn WooCommerce easily. So there's the plenty of resources to learn. Official documentation is uh, available on whozims.com as well. Uh, from the last uh, time I talked with uh, community manager of whozims, uh, and they finally released the series of uh, videos educating you. It's absolutely free. You can uh, start learning WooCommerce and uh, and setting up uh, the shop. Uh, in spite of tutorials, there is the fourth uh, component in the ecosystem WooCommerce. It's about services. Uh, the first one, the first guy I would like to mention is about WooGuru. WooGuru, uh, the thing that I like. Uh, in uh, this company is that let's say you have the WooCommerce store uh, you already configured it and in some way you need a little bit uh, customization of uh, your shop so these guys provide uh, WooCommerce support uh, and let's say you want to customize CSS or add functionality update to WooCommerce etc you can use their service these guys are global and so you pay by uh, subscriptions and so it's good uh, because uh, we want to solve the problem and uh, Huguru is the solution for our problem and uh, the guys to mention is Codebo.com it's actually um, the company where you can outsource your uh, WooCommerce project WordPress project in general uh, in Codebo.com, you can also find uh, WooCommerce experts to to fix the problem. Uh, and the third things I would like to mention is about uh, uh, Woo experts. These guys are verified guys by Woozim's team. Uh, so uh, let's say you want to build uh, customized WooCommerce websites, uh, you can find uh, these guys. Uh, you can find the company which uh, built this website let's say everything or WooCommerce development you can filter by the country where you would like to order the service so it's quite convenient so I see that uh, the ecosystem is it's growing and it's quite popular and the last one uh, I would like to mention is about uh, the showcase uh, for those who are new to WooCommerce you can uh, visit showcase section and see uh, real examples of shops with WooCommerce you can build a lot a, a different kind of system from uh, let's say espresso public is in coffee industry or you can uh, build the, the shop merchandise you can sell cups like <coughs> special and etc there are a lot of interesting examples uh, I think uh, that's all for now because the time is limited and hope uh, 
this information is useful for you. Thank you. Clients website uh, right now. You guys built? Ah, it's uh, right now we are building. Um, uh, uh, it's uh, something off of uh, presentation, but just uh, if uh, a few words. We are right now are building Nitro. Is a multi niche e commerce centric uh, WooCommerce theme. It's actually under. Uh, beta stage uh, there are no live clients yet we are doing uh, some closed beta private beta testing with this so uh, just imagine is one WooCommerce theme but uh, fit all these niches so which one theme you can uh, actually build any stores so that's the main purpose of uh, Nitro it's uh, really customizable different layouts uh, header builder header builders of course in our uh, generation it must be responsive responsive on any devices mobile iPad or just uh, desktop and a lot of interesting things but uh, I think it's mm, it, it will be re released really really soon uh, uh, in December or January but uh, yeah yeah it's the product but it's about uh, who rockets today it's about WooCommerce <laughs> mostly yeah any questions yeah okay uh, question uh, does WooCommerce uh, handle uh, different currencies uh, handling a uh, different currency yes uh, do you mean that plugins that uh, can handle it or payments payments, yeah, payments. ah payments okay great uh, great questions um, with this I have found that uh, on extensions directory they have a uh, special sections with payment gateways yes and so it's different actually let's say uh, uh, in United States it's quite popular with PayPal or Stripe uh, in Vietnam there is PayPal available and also CyberSource so actually when setting up the uh, payment gateway for WooCommerce it's, it's not really hard and a lot of uh, payment gateway are available let's say uh, from uh, based on WooRockets uh, uh, case our main customer are agency and freelancer in the United States and they mostly use PayPal and stripe.com for accepting payment gateway so payment gateways are customizable uh, as, uh, you, as you can see there's also a lot of payment gateway from uh, different uh, American uh, different providers like authorized.net worldpay braintree of PayPal also available so those plugins they are free available and they are commercial pro you know um, uh, when we uh, work it on Nitro WooCommerce theme um, we also try to solve the problem with uh, payment gateway and especially with uh, Stripe uh, strip.com on um, on this uh, page you can see that the price is $79 but uh, I just uh, but to be honest you can uh, try to search on wordpress.org directory firstly because on that directory you also can find uh, payment gateways that's uh, that's uh, that's connect API of strip and WooCommerce system um, actually <coughs> it's the same but the difference here is for $79 you also pay for support mm. so let's say if you have the problem when s setting up uh, the payment gateway let's say stripe.com with your WooCommerce store so guys from uh, uh, this plugin will help you 
but uh, from WordPress directory I'm not sure it depends on directory because plugin is free so you still have to pay maybe and then the question was more on multi-currency multi-currency yeah. uh, okay multi-currency I saw to some store shipping methods okay it's not available here however we can sign we can try to find is he asking about accepting payment in multiple currencies um yeah i think the question was more on accepting payments well, that depends currencies. upon the gateway right i mean if you have any of the that's gateway, correct then but, uh, the payout is usually in the local yes that's currencies. correct what about um adding the price for different uh, currencies in a single product. Ah, okay yeah. so basically displaying currency and doing real-time conversion yeah, either displaying currency, manually inputting the currency, or doing the automatic yeah. conversion. Uh, by default, WooCommerce support. By, by default, WooCommerce support, but uh, one currency. But if you want, let's say, switch currency, you have to install additional plugin. Yeah. Uh, in the past, I had I did a search, but uh, sorry, I don't remember exactly name, but I uh, I will do a search and post in Facebook group. Right. Because, uh, because I faced up with uh, similar problem. Okay. I have a question on capabilities. Like, in your experience, how how far we can stretch WooCommerce before it becomes like okay, you need to move on to Magento or something more. Mm -hmm. About scalability. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I have talked with uh, local Vietnamese developers, and they also built the uh, shops for local merchandise, and so when uh, the number of uh, SQ uh, items reach about 10,000 or maybe more uh, you you will face up the problem with uh, database the only solution for now is about investing money in server in order to handle uh, more items in WooCommerce that's actually that's why uh, most people uh, small business use WooCommerce but big guys they use Magento or more e-commerce system but uh, the only solution for now is uh, uh, invest in server, yeah, in hosting. Is it uh, painful to modify or design the WooCommerce team? Uh, actually, it's not painful because uh, let's say you can buy the original theme. After that, you create a child theme, and so you made customization on based on child theme, and so uh, from uh, future updates. Uh, your changes will be uh, saved. What, what if you wanted to make one from scratch? Uh, from scratch, uh, oh, I think there is. The, uh, do you mean that from uh, code scratch or from yeah, from from, uh, from the beginning? No, just uh, uh, basic templates. Uh, uh, from basic template, um, uh, when I work it with my uh, developer team, so actually they based it on on uh, on the mostly on the API of WooCommerce and so let's say from uh, advanced point of view of developer you can build WooCommerce uh, theme from scratch it's not really really hard but it's it, it's possible absolutely because uh, API is quite uh, well explained because uh, WooCommerce WooZims they have a special uh, portal for developers where they describe in details uh, each element of WooCommerce. Yeah, and they also have a special Twitter uh, developer channel. Yeah, for WooCommerce. Would uh, are the WooCommerce uh, uh, custom post types exposed by the WordPress REST API? Uh, to be honest, I'm not a techie. Right. Uh, yeah, and these questions uh, I can answer you. Uh, after I have to talk with my development team. I'm mostly involved in research and the research and understanding the community around it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's move on to yeah. Okay. Okay.